Hi everyone, welcome to my lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the classification of uh, nanomaterials. The nanomaterials are uh, classified uh, by different types. We will see one by one. First, carbon-based materials. Carbon nanomaterials, such as graphene, graphene oxide, reduced graphene oxides, carbon nanotubes, crystalline diamond, and diamond-like carbon, all shows exceptional uh, electrochemical properties, which has resulted in their uh, widespread applications. The potential of these materials is unquestionable in sensing applications as a novel carbon derived nanomaterials possess properties that are unfathomable in bulk materials. These nanomaterials are uh, composed mostly of carbon uh, mostly commonly taken in the form of halospheres, ellipsoids, or tubes. Graphene, carbon nanotubes, and the diamonds are the polymorphs of carbon that have been widely employed as electrode materials for electrochemical sensing applications in the recent years. Moreover, excellent properties of carbon nanomaterials such as large surface to volume ratio, high conductivity, and electron mobility at room temperatures have led to the numerous advances in electrochemical sensors. In addition to that, these particles have many potential applications, including improvement, improved uh, films and coatings, stronger and lightweight materials, and in application in electronics. Next classification is metal-based materials. Under this category, we can subclassify by two types. One is metal nanoparticle, and another one is metal oxide nanoparticles. In metal nanoparticles, these nanomaterials include quantum dots, nano gold, nano silver, etc. A quantum dot is closely packed semiconductor crystal comprises of hundreds or thousands of atoms. And whole size is on order of few nanometers and few hundred of nanometers. Changing the size of quantum dots, changing their potential uh, optical properties. When it comes to metal oxide nanoparticle, such as uh, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, magnesium oxide, etc. So these metal oxide play a very important role in many areas of chemistry, physics, and material science. In technological applications, oxides, metal oxides, are used in the fabrication of microelectronic circuits, sensors, piezoelectric devices, fuel cells, coatings for the prevention of surface against corrosion and as catalysts. Oxide nanoparticles can exhibit unique physical and chemical properties due to their limited size and high density of corners or edge surface size. Next category is nanocomposites. Nanocomposites are materials that are incorporated nano-sized particles into a matrix of standard materials. So the result of addition of nanomaterials is a drastic improvement in properties that can include mechanical strength, toughness, and electrical or thermal conductivity. So nanocomposites can dramatically improve the properties like mechanical properties, which includes uh, strength modules and dimensional stability, electrical conductivity, flame retardancy, thermal stability, chemical resistance, surface appearance, and optical clarity. Next is organic-inorganic hybrid nanocomposites. This kind of materials, that is uh, organic molecules, that is polymers, when combined with an inorganic nanocomposite, both blended each other, and uh, finally, we will get a product like uh, organic-inorganic materials. These kind of materials can be widely used in the electronic industry and the energy sectors. And the next one is core shell nanoparticles. So this is nothing but the core is a nanoparticle and uh, the shell is also a nanoparticle. One is surrounded by an another. So a nanoparticle, these kind of nanomaterials uh, are used in wide range of applications in high strength materials. Detailed classifications will be discussed in the classrooms. Thank you.